Once upon a time in ancient China, there was a dynasty known as the Shang Dynasty, which ruled over the land from around 1600 to 1046 BCE. It came after the Xia Dynasty, though some argue whether the Xia Dynasty truly existed. Nonetheless, the Shang Dynasty played a significant role in shaping Chinese culture and civilization. At the helm of the Shang Dynasty was King Tang, a wise and just ruler. He took the reins of power from the oppressive Xia tyrant Jia in a tumultuous battle known as the Battle of Mingtao. Despite enduring Jia's tyrannical rule for some time, Tang eventually realized that the Xia dynasty had lost its divine right to rule, known as the Mandate of Heaven. With the support of his people, Tang led a rebellion against Jia, culminating in his victory and the establishment of a new government focused on serving the people's needs. Under Tang's leadership, the Shang dynasty flourished. Tang prioritized the welfare of his subjects, implementing policies to alleviate their hardships. Despite facing challenges like famine, Tang ensured that his people remained prosperous. He even instituted government-funded social programs, such as providing specially marked gold coins to impoverished families who had to sell their children during times of famine, allowing them to buy back their loved ones. Continuing the tale of ancient China, the prosperity of the Shang Dynasty extended beyond its wise rulers to the very soil upon which its cities flourished. Along the banks of the Yellow River, a treasure lay buried beneath the fertile Lois, a rich alluvial sediment that nurtured bountiful harvests. With the Shang's astute management of this land, they produced surplus food, enabling them to undertake grand projects that would shape the landscape of China for ages to come. Cities sprung forth under the Shang's reign, their foundations laid with the innovative technique of Hangtu, stamped earth construction. This method, requiring considerable manpower, paved the way for majestic cities like Erlagong to rise from the earth. Located near Zhengzhou, Erlagong stood as a testament to the Shang's ingenuity and industriousness. The discovery of Erlagong in 1952 stunned archaeologists with its sheer scale. Encircled by walls towering 32 feet high and 65 feet thick, Spanning over four miles, Erlagong encompassed a bustling hub of activity. Its bronze foundries hummed with the crafting of weapons and statues, showcasing the Shang's mastery in metallurgy. Armed with bronze weapons, the Shang military stood formidable, yet their prowess extended beyond warfare. Artisans flourished in Erlagong, their skills evident in the exquisite craftsmanship of bronze statues and intricate jade work. Textiles woven with silk bore testament to the Shang's artistic finesse, while bone workshops buzzed with activity, producing ceremonial objects of unparalleled beauty. Such abundance of skilled craftsmanship attracted artisans far and wide, transforming Erlagong into a thriving center of industry and commerce. The wealth of Erlagong mirrored the prosperity of the Shang Dynasty, where stability and economic prowess fostered a society where artistry and innovation thrived. And in Shang Dynasty there flourished, so too did the spiritual beliefs and cultural practices of its people. Under the canopy of prosperity and stability, a rich tapestry of religious thought and ritual unfurled, weaving together the realms of the divine and the mortal. Central to Shang religious beliefs was ancestor worship, a practice that reverently honored the lineage of rulers and common folk alike. This reverence fostered a deep connection between the people and their king, as well as between the king and the gods, fostering a harmonious understanding of life. Out of this fertile soil of spirituality emerged Taoism, a philosophy that would shape the religious landscape of China for centuries to come. Rooted in the belief in an afterlife and the ability to seek guidance from one's ancestors, Taoism imbued the rule of the king with divine significance, anchoring it in the will of the gods. Alongside religious developments, the Shang dynasty also saw remarkable advancements in the fields of astronomy, mathematics and writing. The traditional lunar calendar was refined into a solar calendar by the astute observations of Wan Nin, enabling farmers to optimize their agricultural endeavors. The invention of writing, initially manifested through the divinatory practice of oracle bones, marked a pivotal moment in human history. These inscriptions, though primitive in form, laid the groundwork for the disciplined pursuit of science, documenting celestial events and mathematical principles with precision. In parallel, the cultural landscape resonated with the melodies of musical instruments crafted by Shang artisans. From the haunting tones of the ocarina, to the rhythmic beats of drums and cymbals, music echoed through the streets of cities like Anyang, where the Shang Dynasty reached the zenith of its power. As the Shang Dynasty reached its zenith, a shadow began to creep over its once glorious reign. Around 1300 BCE, 
whispers of economic strife echoed through the land, hinting at fissures in the unity of Shang rule. While some states flourished independently, the overarching prosperity that had characterized the dynasty's earlier years seemed to wane. Yet, amidst these rumblings, two illustrious emperors emerged, Pan Ging and Wu Ding, whose reigns brought forth a golden age of innovation and advancement. Under Wu Ding's wise rule, spanning nearly six decades, the Shang dynasty witnessed unparalleled progress in medicine, dentistry, and the arts, building upon the foundations laid by their predecessors. But as the sun set on Wu Ding's reign, a pall of decline descended upon the dynasty. The last emperor, Zhou, known also as Xin, succumbed to the temptations of indulgence, forsaking his duties for the pursuit of pleasure. His tyranny surpassed even that of Jia, of the Xia dynasty, plunging the realm into chaos and discontent. It was at this tumultuous juncture that destiny intervened, as King Wu of the Zhou province rose to challenge the decadence of Zhou's rule. At the decisive Battle of Muye in 1046 BCE, the fate of the Shang dynasty was sealed, ushering in the dawn of a new era. With the fall of the Shang came the rise of the Zhou dynasty, yet their reign would not endure unchallenged. In the waning years of the Zhou, the realm plunged into the abyss of the Warring States period, a tumultuous era marked by strife and conflict as rival states vied for supremacy. Amidst the chaos, one state emerged victorious, Qin, a name destined to echo through the annals of history. From the ashes of the Warring States, the Qin dynasty ascended, its legacy etched in blood and conquest until its eventual downfall at the hands of the Han.